sex. There are three different ways that you can sex a uh, Katornix quail. So the first way is by the coloring on the chest of the quail. So you can do this with wild, brown, or feral types, um, and Italians only. And by three to four weeks of age, when the chicks get their adult plumage, you will notice the speckling across the front of the chest on the females. The males have a plain chest, and again, this is not applicable to all color varieties of Catornix quail. The second way that you can sex um, Catornix quail is through vent sexing. So I have a um, number of uh, grow out, so they're about seven weeks old, um, that I'm needing to uh, sex. So I'm going to use those as, as an example. The vent here, and if you push on it, a foam comes out. Uh, you just have to push quite gently, so it's um, just um, by the tail feather end, you're just going to give it a little push, and you see some foam coming out, and that means you got a boy. So, what I do with the males then is um, especially with this batch because it's difficult to tell them apart is I put a <laughs> he's not gonna be very cooperative a colored zip tie like this um, around its leg they are quite wiggly Just like that you want to make sure that there's some um, movement room there as well so that um, it doesn't cut the circulation off to the bird so the, and you just want to clip off the extra so on that big large bump right there you're gonna get some foam so we got a great shot of a female vent the third way is um, strictly through observation. So, so sometimes when you separate quail um, from each other, then they will crow in order, the males will crow in order to communicate with the females. So sometimes even just separating them out of the, their usual pen um, and moving them a few feet away, then they'll start to call to each other. Or you can just sit and watch them and do some observations and see if they crow that way. So as I'm doing my black ones, I will capture some of them crowing so you can hear what that sounds like.